What's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the big new features available in iOS 12 running on the iPhone 10. This update will be rolling out to devices as old as the iPhone 5S later this year, so keep your eyes peeled for this update. There was some controversy at the beginning of this year when it was revealed that Apple was slowing down older iPhones to compensate for the degrading batteries iOS 12, it brings noticeable performance improvements to current and older iPhones. So if you're updating your relatively old iPhone to the new version of iOS, you shouldn't be as afraid. And you should notice things will run smoother. You'll be able to open up the camera app quicker and so on. Now, Apple is finally bringing grouped notifications to iOS. If you have multiple notifications from the same app, they will be stacked and they won't take up so much space in the notification center. Not all notifications are compatible with this feature at launch, or at least in this beta, but I'm looking forward to when Instagram notifications are stackable, so you don't get an individual notification every single time someone likes one of your photos. Also notable here, you can manage notifications and have them quietly delivered to you, or just turn them off completely. We have all new Animojis, like a dragon, ghost, and T-Rex. Your tongue is also now trackable, which was probably a bad idea, but maybe people can be responsible. Probably not though. You can also create your own Memoji and customize your skin color, eye color, eyebrows, hairstyle, and so on. You can spend a lot of time making an emoji that looks just like you. However, there's still not as many options as I would like to see. There's no shaggy hair option from what I can see, so my emoji looks nothing like me. In the settings, there's a new screen time section that will track how much time you're spending on your device to hopefully help you put your phone down more often. You can schedule time away from the screen, set time limits for individual apps, choose apps that you want to show at all times, and block inappropriate content. Parents can use this to set limits for their kids, which is probably how most people will use the new screen time feature. Also here is a new do not disturb section where you can schedule do not disturb mode for when you're sleeping and you can choose which calls you'd like to have come through. Siri shortcuts are available to demo, but expanded functionality is coming later. What this allows you to do is create shortcuts using your own phrases and words that Siri will recognize and act upon. For example, I set it up so that when I say new look, Siri will automatically open up search results for iOS 12 wallpapers in Safari. There should be a dedicated app though where you can create shortcuts later this year. So Stay tuned for that, but overall, this looks very promising. Speaking of apps, there's a bunch of new apps that help round out this release. First, we have the new app called Measure that uses ARKit 2.0 to measure objects accurately using augmented reality. You can tap on the plus icon to drop pins and start your measurements. It's really that easy. You also have a level that is built into this app. The Photos app has been upgraded with a new search functionality that is more aware of events and objects in your photos. We have a For You tab that catalogs a bunch of events it thinks you will like with some fancy fonts and whatnot. There's a new Stocks app with a dark theme that makes it extremely easy to view the stocks you are watching. But the biggest new feature here is the integration of Apple News. You'll see business news below your favorite stocks to help further track stock prices. The Voice Memos app has also been updated with a more simple layout. It's so simple that there's only a couple different options to choose from. You can record and then edit or delete your recordings. That's really about it. And last but not least, the iBooks app has been updated with a new Apple Books name and layout. You can easily discover new releases, classics, and bestsellers, explore audiobooks, which has its own section, and search for content. The layout is simple, but I think it looks much better. With that last one, those are the best big new features of iOS 12 on the iPhone 10. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are brand new, and let us know which feature is your favorite in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.